Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. Again we are back here with Cuphead. Uh, today is going to be a bit shorter of an episode. Uh, <laughs> so last time I said that uh, I did not record a certain boss, the uh, mouse down here, the mouse and the cat fight. So we are just going to go through the, uh, the best run that I had for this fight and skip all the deaths because apparently I forgot to uh, check my audio so the commentary this is a post commentary over the fight so what we're going to do is we're going to step into the fight and we're just going to go through the winning battle and uh, then we're going to move on to the second fight which was one that I had done earlier so um, bit of a weird of a recording but we are going to get through this fight of uh, the mouse and cat and then we're going to go on to the stage play and then we're going to go on to the ghost train so here is the winning fight so yep I had to redo this fight but thankfully this one was one of the the funner fights <laughs> more fun fights uh, just because of uh, the way that they attacked it wasn't super difficult uh, but it was just difficult enough and the characters were super awesome uh, so what we got like a a German mouse thing with a with a soup can tank which is obviously Campbell's I mean look at the label it has to be Campbell's oh oh that wasn't the winning fight oh Oh, I had one death in there for you guys to see. Yay! Okay. <laughs> it's probably one of them where I got frustrated just because uh, I had to... Uh, um, I got hit so many times in the first battle. And it's just like, you know what? Forget it. Reset it. Okay. Oh! Um... So, yeah. This 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 guy is uh, where, where... The best point where I used the smoke bomb just to... Uh, rushed right through the boss. I think Smoke Bond is by far one of the most more overpowered weapons that you can purchase in the game where you can just zoom right through through all the enemies. Uh, it also took me a while to re-remember that I can actually jump through these little sticks. The bottle caps I can't, but the sticks I can. Um, and I had so many uh, dumb deaths on this this flamethrower part. Uh, get through that phase quickly. Mouse gets swallowed by the cat. And this part is actually the easiest part. So all you have to do is follow the pattern of the falling debris. Brings out the mice. Just pop them before they can do anything nasty. And just constantly attack the cat from any angle. Eh... Uh, Cat's pretty cool looking, obviously off of Tom and Jerry, but it I it did confuse me why there was a cage on his mouth until after you uh, kill the uh, until you, after you kill the cat. Let's see here. I think it's coming up right now. There you go. And all oh, the mouse is controlling the cat. But you did see the cat moving around in the background, which makes me think that this is a really smart bot. And the bot came to his rescue right at the mid there, uh, last second there. Time bonus, thank goodness. No parry, no HB, no uh, super meter bonus. Because I was just, uh, just used to that boss after uh, fighting him one time, forgetting to record, and finally recording without the right audio. So this next portion, we're actually going to have some commentary on the boss because of um, of how it all goes down. Because I did this boss earlier, so we're going to jump into this gal, take on this person's gal. Guy, Pope. Ooh. Oh, well, I just suck at parrying. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have my, uh, my dash. Oh, well, that didn't go. That went quick. Ah, dang it. Doodly 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 do. Doodly doodly do. 
gotcha. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, come back! Come back! I want to shoot you! Oh well. Oh! Dang it. Dang it. Well, she died on stage. Oh, 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 crud. Oh, crud. What do I do? Oh, poopers. Okay, good. Good. Ha <laughs> ha! I know exactly what you wanted me to do. It didn't happen. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gotcha! Okay, what's up next? Oh, okay. No! No, no! It was the end of the show! Dang it! So I would like to take a quick moment here to let you know that editing all in the deaths for this boss battle would be ridiculous. I approached the end of this fight several times and ended up getting the chaser at the end to uh, kill her off, but for some reason just took me forever to kill her at that last phase because I kept on getting killed by that stupid umbrella. The point where I started swearing at the machine, so we are just going to kit and cut out all of those, all of those um, deaths, just in case there's a couple swears in there. So, just assume that I died, mm, I don't know, 30 times on this boss. Pretty good amount of time. So, anywho, let us jump right to the final fight where I finally kick her butt. Got her. Okay, big giant shot, and then these guys, because I can't do anything else but dodge this stupid umbrella. Oh, son of a... Uh. Well, I had not realized just how much I was swearing during that time, so yeah. We are going to move on to the uh, ghost train now. So, yeah. Wow, oh my gosh. What, a lot of swearing. But before we get on to the final fight of the ghost train, uh, there is something I definitely want to say is that uh, apparently there's quite a few bugs still in this game. Uh, right, what you're seeing here is one of the mid midway phases of the ghost train and you notice that that guy is not attacking right now for just some reason he's just kind of stuck there and then once he's dead there he goes he finally dies uh, it just gets stuck here and then nothing after that it just constantly pumps out ghosts actually it's supposed to move on to the next phase at this point but for some reason it just sticks and I've noticed this with a couple other bosses in the um, the uh, outtakes that I've done with a bunch of the uh, 
the bosses that I have not done in any of my um, my episodes. Of course, they're deleted files by now, but yeah, just in saying that this game isn't completely devoid of bugs, and there is definitely some game breakers in here. At uh, where I just here, I just end up killing myself, and uh, we reset the game. Starting the ghost chain from the beginning, got the little hand-eye ghost thing that reminds me of that character from Pan's Labyrinth that looks through his hands. Um, I had to end up uh, putting the the chaser on this guy on my weapons array, as well as automatic uh, parry parry sugar, pea sugar, in order to get my my cart moving the way I wanted it to. Uh, smoke bomb was just not useful at all, seeing as that my area of m m moving was limited. So I just uh, kept on the um, put on the pea sugar. So probably when I fight King Dice and the Devil, I will be getting back in the smoke bomb. The train conductor isn't that much of a big deal. You can actually dodge his hands when when they come down. You just have to be at the edges. Uh, I have no idea what these guys are supposed to be. They look like uh, rotting lollipops. I really don't know. It's it's super weird looking bosses. Uh, but finally, this one, this time, it doesn't get stuck. The boss attacks me, so I'm all good to actually move on to killing him so nothing gets stuck he does right about here there we go awesome and then we finally move on to the front of the train uh this one i actually only died to i think twice one time I'm not quite certain but anywho uh you hit his back end here and you hit the heart of the engine I suppose watch out for the uh, the bone circles I'm not sure exactly what those things are supposed to be anyways heck I don't know what the one of the boss faces was supposed to be like oh so there we go all dead ghost train is now oh now complete and we can move on to the final phase which is the which is the king of dice and the devil um next time i'm definitely going to make sure that the that the microphone is working properly and that way we can have some music in the background because <laughs> oh just all around bad bad recording day but got through some difficult bosses and we triumphantly got our soul contracts so we are going to move on to the final two bosses next week and actually we're going to do continue the little um retro type feel for for the game after cuphead so join me next week for the finale of cuphead and uh join me after we're done with uh with uh cuphead itself so this is the Puka signing out. Thank you everybody for joining me.